In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator to construct a histogram. So one of the first things that we have to do is we have to first get our data into the TI-84 graphing calculator. I already have my data in here, so I'm just going to hit on the stat button so you can see this. We'd hit stat, we'd choose option number one and hit enter. And we just type our data into list one. We'll need that for later on. So if you don't have data typed in, you may want to pause the video a second and then type in this data if you want a similar histogram to what I have. Now, since I'm not going to use anything in there, I'm just going to exit out. And we're going to go to the stat plots menu, which is found right up here above the Y equals. So we go second Y equals to open up the stat plot menu. And I'm going to choose option one, which is stat plot one by simply hitting enter. And then we need to make sure this is turned on. So you might have the off highlighted as off. What you're going to have to do is hit the left arrow over. So the box is on the on, then you're going to have to hit enter to select that. To select your graph type, you just hit the down arrow to get to the type. And we want to go all the way over to the third option, which is the histogram, which you can see right here. And to select that, we're going to hit enter. Once we select that, it's going to ask us what our X list is. So I'm going to choose list one. That's where my data is stored. Right below that is frequency. If we had um, uh, summarize the data in a frequency list like we had one value that repeated eight times and we didn't want to type it eight times we could create another list that has the corresponding frequencies for the values um, since I'm not using that I'm gonna leave that set at one and um, we should be pretty much all done so the next thing that we need to do is we need to choose an appropriate window to graph our our image and if you have an older graphing calculator you're gonna to want to exit out of this menu so you go second and then quit with the newer TI-84 graphing calculators, you can simply hit zoom and it should open up the same menu right here. We're going to choose option 9 for zoom stat and that way it will create the appropriate window for the graphic. So that way um, it's not too big, not too small. We can see our whole graphic. So I'm going to choose option 9 just by simply clicking on the 9. And once it comes up, it shows us our histogram. And there's a couple neat features in the TI graphing calculator that we can use to look at the values of the histogram because you notice it shows the bar height but no scales and it doesn't show what the intervals are and stuff like that. If you want to see the bar heights and the intervals and stuff like that, all you're going to simply do is hit the trace function. When that comes up, you'll see a little X up here at the top of the bar. It'll tell you what the uh, minimum value of that bar is, which is 36 at that end, and it goes up to 44.25, which is that edge of the bar and n is the height of the bar so we have seven values that occur within that bar and if you just simply click the right arrow it'll go over to the next bar it'll tell you the minimum and maximum values for the edges of the bar and then it'll also tell you that the height is three the next one you'll notice you get a height of zero the next one you get a height of zero and then the last one you get a bar height of one and then the minimum value is 69 and the maximum value is 77.25 so that's just a quick way to construct a histogram and then view some of the summary values within that histogram.